Today I'm going to do a review on the Atalanta D for Destiny 2 and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. First and foremost, I would like to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to each and every one who is watching this video. That is, if you celebrate that kind of stuff. As well as I hope you guys enjoy the newish layout to the channel. However, let's get into the review though. So, shortly after my review of the New City submachine gun that you guys can watch at the annotation on the screen that is popping up now, I have had many people ask, well, what about the Atalanta D? And I said that it will come in due time. Well, it's that time. And after getting some time with the Atalanta D, I had recently pushed other videos aside because I feel that you guys need to hear this. Let's start off with the stats though. This weapon has an RPM of 600, which means that it's from the same archetype as the Antiope D. An impact of 25, a range of 52, a stability of 45, a reload speed of 27, and a handling of 31. Hidden stats on the Atalanta D are a zoom of 15, an inventory size of 21, an aim assist of 54, and a recoil direction of 82. If you haven't noticed, this weapon looks like the Antiope D, which at the moment is arguably the best SMG in Destiny 2, but they actually have many differences. Only real noticeable difference in cosmetics is that the Atalanta D has a suppressor on it. If you know anything about real guns, adding a suppressor to a gun will enhance its accuracy. Suppressors are not silencers. Figured I had to put that out there just in case some people got confused. Looking at his perks, for the intrinsic perk we have precision frame which this weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. As for the sights, we have GA post as well as SD thermal. For the magazine, we have extended mag as well as steady rounds. And then for our trait, we have tap the trigger, which grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull. This actually has a plus five weapon attack mod because it is a connected weapon, and I actually put the endless glory shader on mine. Unfortunately, it's not a masterworks weapon yet, but I will get it there. Personally, I wouldn't use SMGs in PvE, and it's because you run out of ammo too fast, but they are damn well amazing in PvP. But, for those who want to know, it does pretty okay in PvE. However, kill time in PvP is pretty fast as you can see from the gameplay. Just make sure you're getting those crits. The Atalanta D is pretty much the opposite weapon of the Antiope D, where the Antiope D excels at range, the Atalanta D excels in stability, and I will say this thing is crazy stable. Comparing the two SMGs side by side, they both have the same RPM, impact, reload speed, and zoom. The Antiope D has more range, inventory size, and slightly better aim assist. As for the Atalanta D, it has better stability, handling, and slightly better recoil direction than the Antiope D. Mix the stats with the perks, and this is probably one of the most, if not the most stable SMG in Destiny 2. I love this thing, but it wasn't all sunshine and daisies when I first started using it. Since I was so used to the Antiope D, it felt kind of weird making the switch to the Atalanta D. When I first started to use the Atalanta D, I caught myself fighting recoil on the initial trigger pull that wasn't there like on the Antiope D. It was a minor adjustment, but after a while, we came up with an agreement. Even though this isn't a rifle, this saying I feel applies to all guns. They say the best shooters are people that never shot a gun before because there are no bad habits that need to be corrected. If you haven't used the Antiope D or never liked it, then you definitely should give the Atalanta D a try because you may just change your opinion on the archetype. As of this video, there are four SMGs in Destiny 2 that I recommend. Not in any specific order, but they are the Atalanta D, Antiope D, New City, and the Soul Pariah 6. But I will do a video on that SMG later on. So what say ye on the Atalanta D? Is this a weapon that you will give a try or have you already tried it out? Let me know what you guys think of this SMG and any other SMGs in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these other two Destiny related videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. 
Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.